Representative LaShawn Fords. Bill, I think that has been introduced or is about to be introduced. Um, here is the article. The title, Lawmaker Wants Police Officers Taught How Racism, Ignorance, Prevent Them From Doing Their Jobs Fairly. It talks about how they need to get um, classes. They're, he's trying to mandate that all everyone in, every police officer in Illinois, current and future, get classes in critical race theory and get to know c communities. It, and while not the worst idea, I don't think things like this are going to be the cure for racism. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think any of the officers that have been involved, like Chauvin, Chauvin in Minneapolis, the officer in um, outside of Minneapolis, I mean, they're just all over now, would have not shot the people they shot if they went through these classes. I think it's... Um, It feels good to think that these things are going to make a difference. I don't think they're going to. This is the same thing I, way I feel about when I hear um, former black police officers or black community members or black aldermen. Black aldermen is why I think we ended up with Eddie Johnson. Talk about how we need a black leader. And yeah, for diversity. But what we need someone is a, what the CPD really needs is a game changer. One of those game-changing leaders to come in and change and break the culture. Um, if that person's of color, all the better. Um, but the idea that you're going to have a black leader, let's say Eddie Johnson or any other black superintendent, and a white cop who harbors racist ideas and racist thoughts is not going to act on him because he's worried about retribution from the black superintendent is just a joke. Um, and it's been something that's been playing out in Chicago forever. They think that's going to be a difference, and it just isn't. Um, I think the Sean Ford, Representative Ford, uh, I may have him come on the show to talk about it. I think we, I think lawmakers have to start putting in bills like Illinois has done a little bit, and and really restrict the activities of police, and we got to start towards the reinvestment of funds or reallocation of funds that normally go for policing and stand up alternative responses and get police out of a lot of what they do. It's better for everyone, including the police department. 